Hello and welcome. I'm Yael. And I'm Sam. And we're your hosts for Newton North News, a bi-weekly summary of news, sports, arts, and features content with original reporting from the Newton Night. This program is a part of a new initiative between the Newton Knight, Newton North's official student-run online and print news source, and TigerTube, this school's student-run television show. In the coming weeks, the Tiger's Loft will offer new options for its lunch services, such as a new Google Docs ordering system and a table-side cooking. The Google Docs service will allow teachers and possibly students in the future to order meals in advance and pick them up at a convenient time. Only about a month into the school year, 111 new students had transferred to this school from different districts. Last year, there were 142 students who transferred into the school system. But that number was tallied at the end of the school year, which makes this year's enrollment seem unusually high. This has caused challenges in reorganizing classes to fit all of the to fit all of the new students. From October 3rd to October 5th, Juniors Amber Poirier and Christian Sumner, officers of Team Pact, sold ball caps for Be Bold, Be Bald, a national fundraiser which will be Friday, November 2nd. In addition, Connection students and members of Team Pact will, will shave faculty members' heads outside the cafeteria during lunch for $5. Be Bold, Be Bald is an event in which people all across America wear bald caps in, a, in support of those undergoing cancer treatment. People who wear the caps find sponsors who donate money to cancer research organizations. Principal Jennifer Price was nominated to participate in the Yahoo! Women Who Shine online contest for her work on the Global Education Leadership Fund which is a fund for this school and South that allows low-income students to participate in school-run foreign exchanges. If Price gets the most votes in the contest, she will receive $10,000 for her personal use, which she has pledged to donate to the fund. College representatives from around the country participated in the school's college nights from 7 to 8.30 p.m. last Tuesday and Wednesday in the cafeteria for junior and senior families. About 100 representatives from different colleges had booths in the cafeteria for juniors and seniors and their parents to talk to. Tuesday, October 2nd, this school held the Tiger Games on the multi-purpose field as a, part of, as a part of the One School, One Book initiative. Based on events from the book of Susan Collins, the Tiger Hunger Games consisted of seven physical and mental challenges. Sophomore Sean Fitzpatrick won the games after surviving all seven challenges. Now, on to sports. Sam? After winning a 67.5 to 40.5 at Dedham last Tuesday, golf ended its season with a record of 8 to 6, having qualified for the state tournament with a win at home last Monday over Norwood. According to golf coach Bob McDougall, said that he hopes all the guys are in the right frame of mind and play relaxed with confidence for the upcoming tournament, which contains a different format than regular season tournaments. A questionable penalty call ended up costing the boys soccer a win in their 1-1 tie against Brookline at Skyline Field Wednesday. In the middle of their second half, with the Tigers clinging to a 1-0 lead, a foul was called on a Tiger defender during a Brookline corner kick. Senior Andrew Leeper, captain, said that they had outplayed Brookline offensively and defensively and took control of the game early on, and therefore deser deserved the win. Next, let's move on to arts. Sam? Directed by Spanish teacher Daniel Fabrizio, Rumors, a farce by Neil Simon, will go up Thursday, November 1st through Saturday, November 3rd at 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Rumors tells the comical story of four affluent couples who arrive at a party and find that the host, the deputy mayor of New York City, has a gunshot in his ear and that the hostess is mysteriously missing. Tickets are $7 and sold at theaterinc.net. Arts editor Leia Budson writes about a number of students who are members of the Boston Youth Symph Symphony Orchestra, a prestigious musical group that performs in selective locations such as Symphony Hall and the White House, and even tours other countries. You can read the full article on the front page of the NewtonKnight.com. Now, finally here are the descriptions of the Newton Knight featured articles, which can be read in full online at NewtonKnight.com. Senior Ari Appel created a program called Bike to School in which every time a student bikes to school, he earns a stamp. When a student acquires five stamps, he earns a $5 coupon at George Howell Coffee in Newtonville. For more information, please read the full article at thenewtonite.com. Features editor Julian or Oren writes, writes about Dover Legacy Scholars, a scholarship program for black students at North, which began this year. Former English teacher Inez Dover created the program, which contains courses, leadership, 
directives and support for, for students of African American descent that have at least one B minus in a, cur in a curriculum one class. Well, this wraps up our first installment of Triple N. Again, please check out thenewtonight.com to read any of the af aforementioned articles or to check out the new content which is posted daily. If you are interested in getting involved in the Newton Knight or NNTV, stop by the Newton Knight Room 273 or write a message in the contact page of the website. This has been Sam and Yael signing off for Triple N.